I'm gonna go see Mickey, right? And Minnie. Hi, this is Mark from Mark and Sandy in Motion. We want to make a video, kind of a short video today, of, well, it's primarily a question. Should we take two two-year-olds to Walt Disney World? If we do decide to do that, how should we be prepared? I know you have to bring strollers, of course, and you definitely want to plan on probably a half a day at the parks. Will kids sit and watch a parade or a cavalcade? I know the cavalcades are much shorter. You know, they're quicker. You know, you can get up close with the uh, characters and stuff. You can see them. The parades are, they seem to be a little more, you know, you're distant from them and stuff. So I think that's why the cavalcades are a lot more popular. I don't know. But will a kid sit through that? A two-year-old? We kind of wanted to get your input. You know, you've taken kids there. You know, what ideas do you have? You know, what should we do? What shouldn't we do? And then also at the same time for this video, I did a little research, of course, on some experienced folks and what they did. So I want to share those with you. I don't know. Will they sit on the people mover? Should we wait till they're four? Hmm. Maybe five? I know one thing is for sure. They have plenty of food that little kids like to eat. There's a lot of food there that I like to eat too. Especially that doll whip. Mmm. Have you ever gotten that turkey leg? Looks like something from the Flintstones. I've seen a lot of people eating it. Is it even turkey in the first place? I mean, some people, I think, have said that it was actually, or it actually tastes like ham. I'm not so sure I want to get it. I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, but about a year ago, I posted a video, Sandy and I, about an idea I had. I thought, how about one day Disney does a adult day only, only adult day, no kids, no strollers, no, you know, everything that goes along with the kid, just for adults. I lost two subscribers when I posted that video. Is that a coincidence? I don't know, maybe it was. Maybe some people took it the wrong way, but I've never lost two subscribers right after posting a video. Gained two subscribers, of course, but to lose two? Adult Disney Day. I don't know, I thought it was a good idea. I was just pontificating, you know, throwing ideas out there. I'm not suggesting it in this video, though. I think it's a terrible idea. Adult Disney Day. Who would come up with something like that? And here's the biggest question I have. Will Sandy and I enjoy ourselves? Will it be just chasing the kids around and trying to keep them happy? I mean, there's gonna be a lot of joy. I mean, I can't wait for them to see Mickey. They see him on TV all the time. We watch at Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and stuff like that on YouTube. And they're very familiar with him. That was one of the uh, suggestions uh, was to familiarize your kids with them but we've already gone there before but will Sandy and I enjoy ourselves mm. as a parent that's taken young kids to Walt Disney World did you enjoy yourselves did you have a good time and the traveling part of it we're coming from Ohio and we're driving south and we usually stay one night, like in uh, South Carolina, stay at a Marriott. What's that gonna be like with two two-year-olds? I mean, sitting in the car all day, will we have to make a dozen stops on the way? Hmm. I read on a blog about taking youngsters she suggested getting tags like that you get at the pet store that has their names and address on it you know 
it sounded a little weird at first, you know, going into a pet store. Hey, can I have two tags for my kids? But you know what? Part of me thinks it's a pretty good idea just in case they get separated. I mean, when it's really busy at the parks, you know that that can happen. Especially the way that they take off. You know, you turn your head for one minute. Oh, look at that. And all of a sudden they're gone. I think I'm going to do that. The one thing that I don't want to do is have one of those, um, you know, those chains that you put around your wrist and around their wrist. They're not like chains. They're more like, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe they're plastic or maybe they're like a bungee. I'm not sure, but I'm not really into that. But having some form of ID on them, that's a pretty good idea. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe we put it on their shirt or on their clothing, you know, instead of a tag. Maybe we have like a big Mickey Mouse and it has their name on it. And then we also include, you know, the phone number, our phone numbers on it in case they get separated. Seems like a little better idea to me. A little more creative. Speaking of creativity, will the kids enjoy it? Will they enjoy, I mean, aside from the character meets and stuff like that, you know, seeing Mickey and Minnie. Will they enjoy Star Wars? Can they go on roller coasters? So that seems obvious. We won't be going on Slinky Dog Dash, that's for sure. Now, when they get a little older, sure. But two? Hmm. Maybe I'll wait till they're four. I mean, is that selfish? I've been called selfish before, that's for sure. But I just want to be practical. I want to be reasonable. I really like to get some comments. You know, I never ask for comments in our videos. I don't ask for subscribers either. I figure if you like our videos, you'll subscribe. Although, I don't know if that's true. A lot of people just don't ever think about it. When, oh, that's a cool video, and they're on to something else. But I would really like a comment from the experienced. You know, because it's a big step. It's real easy, just the two of us going around Walt Disney, that's for sure. We could stay out to the parks till 10 if we want. Or we could leave at four. We've done both. Picture perfect day. Video perfect hmm. day. Wisdom. That's what I'm looking for. Wisdom. People out there that have gone through this. Not only are you telling us, commenting to us, but you're helping other people who have the same questions. So come on. Get involved with the video. <laughs> well that's all the questions i have seriously give us a comment below talk to you later hope you enjoyed the video or well, the questions the barrage of questions talk to you later